Hello Zebrahead and welcome back to ARMS. Today we're gonna be showing off yet another character in Grand Prix. It will be Springtron. I guess the robotic version of Springman, which is of course over here, the first character we showed off in this series. Uh, yeah, I really don't know too much about this guy. I don't know if he's gonna play a lot like Springtron or not, but when we were playing a level four difficulty last episode, we did level three. We handled it pretty well, but I haven't played since yesterday, so we're gonna find out. Oh my, I'm nervous. Okay, what do you have to say about it, Biff? Can you give me a lecture? Live from the sparring ring, surrounded by cameras, the Arms Grand Prix is upon us. Oh yeah, it's from the sparring ring. And boy, oh boy, is your buddy Biff excited. We're in for one heck of a treat today. The ultimate fighting machine is here. Give it up for the legendary Springtron. Oh, wow, okay, so I think he's age zero. There was quite a media circus when this mysterious creation first started entering the Grand Prix. But as we know now, these were calculated demos by Arms Labs to flex their scientific muscle. And he's not just a disruptor this time, he's fighting to win, let the Arms Grand Prix begin. Also, if anyone wants to remind people who might just be looking at the chat to refresh their page because we're live again. Oh, and are going against Misango, right away. Okay, we follow you. we were you last episode, brought to you by the Arms Labs. It's Spring John versus the Spirited Fighter Masango. After studying footage of his fights, Arms Labs has concluded that his weakness is the fact that he fights barefoot, drops some thumbtacks, and it's game over. But Arms Labs would never condone that sort of unsportsmanlike business. Keep it clean, Springtron. I mean, he can basically be a thumbtack. It's all metal. So we get some pretty basic arms. I think the same arms that a uh, Springman has. Okay, dodge it. Grab him. I know a lot of people are criticizing me for grabbing too much uh, when I was playing Lollapop. So I'll try to be aware of that. But I'll, I, I try to take in as much advice as I possibly could, because I'm still wicked rusty. But so far, he just seems to be like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's right, he has that bouncy stuff. Um, he, he, so far, he just seems to be just like Spring Man. I don't know what the difference is. So if anybody knows what the difference between this guy and Spring Man is, let me know. Okay, you know what? Oh my, oh nice dodge there. Yeah, a lot of people are saying in higher difficulties, they end up dodging your grabs a lot more often. But that's a good opportunity, I gotta take it there. He's super low, if I can land one more shot on him. Yeah, look at that, a great start, that was a perfect too. Pro tip, don't die. If you wanna win at video games, there's one thing you need to know. It's to not lose. You're so good at arms, my penny. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. I mean, I'm not really, I've never gotten higher than level seven, but I've never really applied myself too much. So we'll never, we'll, 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 we'll might find out. But as for right now, I don't know. Okay, so he's about to build up his super and he seems to be prepared for it because he's got the yellow thing out. Oh boy, oh boy, block! Oh, I couldn't block in time. I should have stayed to the ground. Still learning that habit a bit more. I'm all gooped, I don't wanna be gooped. Oh, right in the face, he got up. I knock you down. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does Springtron do? So far, I don't feel any difference. I like to hop in, sort of not knowing, so that it, the surprise is fun. Wow, he is intense. He's so cool. But so far, I don't know if there's a difference. If he's just supposed to be a reskin of Springman. I don't know. All right, well, match one won pretty well. We only took a little bit of damage from his super. Master Mummy. Master Mummy will be more warm up for me. That'll be great. Okay, match two. Don't let our alarm, Arms Labs down. It's Spring John versus the Grim Creeper Master Mummy. As calculated by Arms Labs Supercomputers, Master Mummy's weakness is the sound of nails on a chalkboard. I guess that makes sense. Muscles can't stop sound. Personally, I, I can't stand it when my microphone crackles. So annoying. Anyways, oh my gosh. I know all about microphone issues. Me and Biff, we got some some things going on. I mean, Biff has a coiled up arm. I know official art for Biff. We're just gonna use the boomerang and do this the entire time, by the way. <laughs> but uh, official art for Biff does show that he has coiled up arms, so maybe he could be an arms fighter. That'd be really cool. I think if there's any kind of arms fighter I would like in the game, it would be Biff. All right, even if it's just like a bonus character, like he's not that great, and that's why he's a commentator. Springtron does the fighting thing. Well, that's what all the characters do. Oh wow, we got that super, super easy. I mean, it didn't, it didn't really keep him lasting too long. Oh yeah, I forgot about the trampoline in the middle. Whoa, okay, well that was silly of me. I could have blocked that if I just had better reactions. Oh my, there we go, ow. Oh, you know what? 
Get out of here. He actually did some decent damage to me there towards the end. That goop looked, was like the chomper goop, yep. <laughs> okay. I think, ooh, do I wanna mix things up? I just love the toasters so much. We'll try the tri, tri bolt. I need to get used to some of these things, so. Yeah, the tri bolt is the one that's horizontal opposed to vertical. Ow. Oh, I was doing better against Masango. But I still have much to learn. And get that to him, or not. That's okay, ooh, he got me, I got him, but he got me more than I got him. Okay, move it, block. Oh boy, no, no, no. Grab him, get him out of here, because I don't want him building up that super. He already got his super, he doesn't need another one. Ooh, oh, I'm just gonna do the strategy again? Not quite. <laughs> All right, dodge it up. Oh, darn, that, that stunk. Oh man, oh man, he's turning this around on me. If I could just be careful, and then go for him. Oh, that was a little too soon, Armin. I guess it was, I don't know if it was too soon or too late, but it was definitely badly timed. Grab him. This might take him out unless he's getting heals. I think he was getting heals there. Oh boy, grab him. Nice, that'll be it, that'll be it. Awesome. Master Mummy taken down without too much of an issue. Okay. I love his wind pose. Like, I like how his hair is literally a spring. Like, you know, obviously Springman's hair looks like a spring. His is just literally a spring. All right, we got some b-ball. The robots can fight, but can they dunk? Oh, and we're going against Kid Cobra. I think Kid Cobra's gonna get some good dunking skills. I would imagine. All right, match three. Let's make them play some hoops. I already know. First to 10 wins. Let's do it. I'm just gonna do a double toasters. I think that'll be the easiest thing. Because it's all about grabbing anyways. Oh, swish. Oh, oh, I almost got you there, but not quite. So he's got two slapamanders. I think that's what they're called. Some of these, some of these arms have some very memorable names. Ow, that was all me. I need to wait for him to throw something. And if you beat him up enough, that'll also count. Like if you super them, that'll also dunk them in. I missed that one, how embarrassing. Oh, I want that. Grab him. Got him. Okay. Oh wow, I love that backflip. That's cool. Oh boy. Make a move. Make a move. See what happens. Oh, he's gonna make a move soon. Right? You know, I can do this all day, man. I can do this all day. He really just to sit does just stand there. He's waiting for me to make a move and it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you really gotta initiate it. Oh, come on. Come on, just do something. He just, he's sandbagging me. Like, come on. Got him. That's it. Okay, he got one, he got two points on there. You gotta be careful. But hey, we made it, we made it. Okay, two more points. Springtron looks really cool. I think aesthetically, he's my favorite character so far. I mean, there's a lot of cool looking characters. Him, Kid Cobra, and Ninjara are very just cool looking. But there's this, uh, he has a really cool essence to him. He's so like intense. Speaking of Ninjara, let's beat him up. Match for Behold the Power of Arms Labs. It's Springtron versus the student of stealth, Ninjara. Based on predictive models developed by Arms Labs, Ninjara natural enemy is mosquitoes. Not only are they annoying, annoying, slapping them away would do something. That's right, he couldn't hurt a fly. I think Ninjara would just laughed at that. Well, he won't be laughing for long. Springtron's here. Okay, well. Let's do it, what should I do here? Let's do boomerang and toasting. That just seems to work for me, so. Uh, I'm ready for you, Ninjaran. I don't really know how this map will work out for us. Ooh, especially if he dodges like that. Well, we got the first hit on. Oh my, oh my, oh, you got me. Ouch. Oh, let's definitely get that if I can. Oh, or miss it. <laughs> That's my my big weakness with the, uh, with the boomerang is that I just sometimes forget I have it. Man, I can't get you. You're too quick. There we go, ooh. Well, I see your arm electric, that's no, not electrocuted, but it has the exclamation point, which means something or another. Ooh, up. Okay, now you go. No, no, okay, never mind, never mind. I thought there was more of a cooldown for his, uh, for his uh, grab. Oh, not for his grab, but for his teleport. There we go. I guess if you do it like immediately after he teleports, it seems to be a pretty big opening. Oh, no, you got me. 
I feel like I'm not, I'm leaving myself a little too open here. I mean, so far we're doing pretty decent for level four difficulty, but we got lots more to do. The Grand Prix gets really long once you do level four difficulty, it just there's so much. Whoa, that was good. Awesome, so round one done, I didn't have to use that super. I can use it in the next round. Ooh, he's really feeling it. <laughs> okay, I think we'll stick with the same thing. If it doesn't, you know, hurt, my, might as well. Gosh, our character looks so cool. I really like this guy. All right, do something, huh? Oh, 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 just right in the face. Up, oh, up. Oh. All right, well, if you're just gonna block, I'm just gonna grab you. Yeah, I'm trying not to just grab the entire time like before. All right, so he has his super too, so. Block, oh, I shouldn't have jumped. I shouldn't have jumped. I don't know why that's just so instinctual for me. Can I throw you over? I, I would have landed in the area for it if I did it sooner. Okay, now I go, now I go. Wow, you actually dodged that. You tried to grab me. I'm not gonna let that happen. That's for sure. <laughs> Meme-tron. All right, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Toss out like that. Ooh, it almost got you. It was swooping. Whoa! That just barely stopped that. No. <laughs> I just knock it away. Not happening, sir. Can I get this? No, I can't. Oh! Don't turn this around on me, Ninja. He's about to get a super, which I'd rather him not do. Come on, he's so low. If I could just. Oh, boy! Yeah! No! What? That one threw him! I might have hit him, but then I guess he just stayed stable because he was supering. Holy cow. Oh, nice! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Definitely getting a lot more difficult than level three. What well, is nice playing level four with a character I'm at least semi-familiar with? That's why I didn't want to do level four with um, Masango last time. Did that grab glitch out? I have no clue. I mean, I think it's just because if you throw a normal punch through a grab, it'll break the grab. And I don't know if it was just sort of the return of my, if you're talking about the one that he threw. Oh, we're gonna get solo pump. Uh, halfway to the glory for arms labs. It's Spring John versus the Sucker Puncher and Lola Bob on the bustling Via Dolce where you can find the lovely arms cafe. Apparently arms labs has secretly set up their own shop down at the end. The helix sign really draws the eye. If you find yourself nearby, stop in. Arms labs is near, nearly nearing bankruptcy. So perhaps fans will do something. Wow, I was sort of surprised by that. So Arms Labs ain't doing so great. Maybe we're their last hope. I mean, you'd think with how popular this whole Arms thing is, I mean, maybe it isn't as popular. I mean, there's never more than like 15, I mean, I guess there's like usually about 30 or 40 people in the crowd. That's not really uh, millions of dollars, unless it's just something a bunch of millionaires are really interested in. It would be cool. I mean, you don't really see that too much. I guess Twin Tell's stage is sort of kind of like that. It would be cool if there were more stages where there's like a gigantic crowd. Oh, is that gonna get you? That didn't get you. Huh, weird. Oh my, oh my. Oh, oh yeah, I just, I'm making a habit of just punching people straight in the face, just like that. I mean, why not? If it works, it works. I just find it hilarious that it works. Oh no, oh no. I haven't been using the tri blaster. Blah, blah, try blister. Eesh, the blister. You know what, have that, or not. Oh, oh, that is such a cool way to end it. <laughs> we just exploded, that is so cool. That was great. Uh, Let us do, uh, you know what? I really like double toaster. I don't know, I don't think people like it when I do double of anything. It's just so much fun. I just like this weapon. It's really what's getting it done for me, so why not? I feel like for Springman it works. I mean, I'm really not super into the semantics or uh, specific strategies in this game. Oh, wow, I'm not playing so well this round so far. So let me just wait here, and then, oh, you have the shield this time, which I'm sort of weirded out by, because I don't want to land my super in it and I'll just hit your shield. All right, yeah, get all up in my face, lady. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's working, that's working, that's working, that's working, and I'm getting heals and you ain't. She has her super too, so I gotta be super careful, block! Oh man, that could have been really bad, because my arm was out when she threw that. Oh my. She is moving all over the place. I mean, I just gotta use my throw a bit more if she's gonna throw out her shield like that. Ow! Okay, well now I see the mistake in that thinking. All right, I gotta get that over to her. Well, oh man, I'm messing everything up right now. Got it. We're in a bit of a sticky situation. I'm still in the lead, but that might change in a moment. 
The shield's really getting me right now. <laughs> like, she's really working with it. Oh, that was good. Oh my. Grab it. Yeah, we grabbed it. And I have my super back, so I'm waiting for her to make a mistake and I'm going all in. Like that. Oh, that's not gonna get her. Oh no, it did get her, cool. I thought it was all just gonna hit her shield. I guess not quite. I'm glad, I'm glad. Candy hair, yep, she has candy hair. Yeah, it's a really long grab range. I mean, I don't know, it seems like the range of every character ends up surprising me. I'm like, like, whoa, you can really grab far. It looks hilarious when she's all puffed up. Yeah, when she's like bouncing around like a little ball. It's a weird, weirdest mixture between cute and just odd. Okay. That was a nice looking finisher. Yeah, when everybody exploded. Okay, Twintail match six. Uh, Arms Labs is always ready. Let's change it up and play some b-ball. Okay, then they're not gonna have any character specific text, which I don't care about then. Ooh, I think Double Toaster again. I need to be as accurate as possible so the Tri Blaster and the Boomerang might not be too helpful. Okay, well, this whole accuracy idea I had is not working out too well so far, but I get the first point. All me. Can you have a two versus two volleyball in this game? Because that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I mean, I've only really played this game single player. And I don't know, I just sort of enjoy it more when I'm not stressing out about gamer score or embarrassing myself. <laughs> just because I just get to choose a difficulty. It's nonchalant, maybe at some point. Oh my, get it. Oh, no! Oh, you got me! Come on now, oh, oh. No, no, no. No! Spiking that. Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna break again, I gotta be careful, I gotta be ready for it. I wish I could hit over the net a little easier. No, don't you dare. Yeah, get it over there. There it goes, awesome. Wow, this is a tough game. She's, she really knows how to play some V-Ball. Don't tie this on me. Yeah, just barely, three to one. That could have been a tie there. That would, I don't know what would happen if it's a draw. I think you gotta do it again. Oh man. Okay, well, we did what we did, but that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I like Springtron though. I really don't see the difference between him and Springman. I haven't felt it, but it's been a while since I've played Springman since episode one, basically. All right, match seven. Arms Labs offers a great employee benefit. It's Springtron versus the Scrapyard Scrapper Mechanica. Arms Labs tireless research has uncovered her weakness. Drawing, that seems weird. Maybe she's just got her own style. Looks like the comment has Mechanica fired up. Can Springtron stop her? I sure hope so. Usually I don't have too much of a hard time going against Mechanica. Since there are the pillars here, I'll definitely use the Boomerang. Because I think the Boomerang works pretty well against her most of the time. Uh, hey, hey, no, thank you. But yeah, usually, it seems like I have a couple characters that end up being my characters that I sort of toy around with to practice a bit. Mechanica and Master Mummy are usually those guys. But we haven't gone against Mechanica in a little while. That's sort of the fun thing about there being more characters now, is that you get to sort of battle a variety of characters each time. It's a little bit different each Grand Prix because of the random characters you'll end up running into. But that's why I like there being a bigger roster to this game. I've heard a lot of rumors. I think I've been following the uh, ARMS subreddit because it's just cool. And I've noticed that a lot of people think that, um, and like not to doubt them, I really have no clue. Oh, ow, that the newest character, Dr. Coyle, might be the last new character in the game. Oh man. I am just leaving myself open. A two machine brawl, yep. Machine versus machine. All right, you know what? No more silly mistakes. <laughs> After that silly mistake. No more silly mistakes, gotcha. Oh, look at you dodging. Not anymore, but you were doing pretty good there. Maybe I shouldn't be experimenting too much with mechanic guy. I gotta take it a bit more seriously. Oh man. Come on, come on, come on. I know I can do this. Got you, that should be enough to finish this round. Just barely. Oh boy. Well, we did what we could. I mean, I got a little bit beat up there, but we're back up the full. Maybe we could try something like way different. Let's try like a tri ball. This is gonna be a bad idea. I don't know be a really bad idea. I mean, I could try it, see what happens. Ooh. Oh darn, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, so at least I can, that's sort of the thing about her weapons that can be super frustrating, is that they're always up in your face. They just very, very large weapons that are just like, it makes it very hard to actually see her. Oh my, I thought I was gonna get a grab there. Not the case. Can I grab you? No, I can't. Oh man, 
Hold on. No, that's gonna be a mistake. Yep, she's shielding. Gosh darn. Oh, ooh, that was at least a little bit good towards the end of it. Oh man, that thing just, that's a Seeky, I think, and it it definitely seeks me out. I chose some bad weapons. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Grab you, oh man, she's getting me. Oof, indeed. Oh, I love his shoes. You know, if there's one thing I got out of this, I learned that he has some great suit cho shoe choice. Uh, um, I mean, I don't know, I think that this will be better. All right, I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling. No, move it! Oh gosh darn. Is she gonna beat me? Is she gonna get me 2-1? She might, I really feel like I'm making a ton of mistakes here. Oh man. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons now. Come on, come on. No, nope, that's not gonna work, I just died. Oh man! I don't know what I gotta do. Hmm. Well, I can retry, right? I think you can. I want a badge! Yay! Yay me, I lose! I get a badge. Rematch, rematch for sure. All right, well, let me take my losses. I was doing a lot better in the first round. I got some easy shots on the boomerang right away, which I think helped. Oh, hey, stop. It's just, oh man, she'll just bombard you. And it's just like, I can't even get up. <laughs> She's doing what I was doing to the other people. They get up and I just immediately punch them down. Move it. But this is why I never say how long an arms episode is gonna be, because sometimes you just get stuck on one character. There we go, that might be helpful, depending if it gets to her. It didn't, it got really close. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, that didn't hit you. Okay, well, I did pull up my shield at the good time. That's at least something, right? I feel like she has a much larger range than I do. That's probably because she does. Oh, that almost got you. Oh, that got you then. Maybe I just need to keep my distance. Keep throwing this kind of stuff at her if I can, or not. Move it! Oh man, I try so hard to dodge, and it's just her, her weapons are so huge. I'm definitely figuring out what it's, why mechanic can be tough to go against, because she could just do that all day. Okay, you know what? Get you, get you, get you. There we go, there we go, that's gonna help me catch up. Because right now I'm playing catch up against her. I'm still not really, oh boy, oh boy. Got it. Okay, that helps. Throw that out there, maybe. Because if I can land one more punch, one more punch, one more punch, yeah, just barely, that one was gonna be it. I was gonna die, and I did it. Oh, oh, oh man. Thank you so much, Link, for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. That win was for you. <laughs> Hashtag Nerf Mechanica. It's just I don't think I'm prepared for it. I don't think this is a character I'm incredibly good with. Like, sometimes I destroy Mechanica, and then the other times I just get totally destroyed. It's never an in the middle with her, at least for me. For other people, it might be totally untrue. It's just I'm not good with these, like, seeking weapons. Like. You think it's always obvious, just jump and grab her. And sometimes that works out just fine, but she seems to just throw it at just the right time. Okay, she got hit by the environment there. You get out of the healing. This healing is for Springtron only. <laughs> only pure robots, not controlled robots by organic beings. Let's go ahead and throw the boomerang. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Get more of that in my life, huh? All right, now's the time, now's my chance. Oh man, but I was too far. That is something I gotta keep in mind a little bit more often. Distance. Can I hit that? No, the camera's like not working for me for hitting that. Well, that was like my first major hit taken so far. Okay, that's good. That's not gonna hit her. Okay, why am I dodging? I didn't need to dodge her. I mean, luckily I, I avoided most of the damage. Grab her. No, that was, once again, I'm too far for that. Stop doing that to me. If I gotta get close, then I gotta not be awful. Oh. I need to beat you right now. I need to beat you. Grab you. The good thing is that her arm is out for like a forever and a half. Look at how long that grab was. I think the grab is based off of when you activated it. So like, if I am to, oh my. If I could just survive, survive for a good, like just throw everything you got and try not to get hit. I could survive this and win. Oh no, no, hit her. Ah! <laughs> did I win? I did, by technicality. That is probably the worst. Way to win is by technicality. But hey, a win's a win, see ya Mechanica. Oh my gosh. 
Springtime versus Bite and Bark would be a really rad matchup. Hopefully we run into him. Yeah, that's another robot. Yeah, that's a, like a totally just its own functioning robot as well. Interesting. Ribbon girl. Ribbon girl, nice, okay. Matt Jake, consider investing in Arms Labs today. He's really trying to sell that. It's Springtron versus the Eris Ribbon Girl. Based on data collected by Arms Labs, her weakness is Lightning. She's scared of Lightning? Weird that, that she favors the Sparky. Meanwhile, Springtron has no weaknesses, apparently. Can anything stand in his way? That's very interesting. It's I, I guess uh, the, whatever puts on the Arms presentations, you know, that hires Biff, probably is Arms Lab, or is at least funded by Arms Labs, and that's why they're trying to really sell it here. And also, you know, it ties into Springtron. Oh man, it is still a win. The technicality, it just doesn't feel very satisfying. But yeah, there's a big crowd here, but you barely see, I mean, you actually don't even see the crowd, you just see their lights. It just doesn't give the same thing. Cause it feels like obviously with this situation, they came for the concert and they're just here for like, the, the fight is just bonus, right? It'd be very cool if there was one. I mean, I guess that's what uh, Max Brass's area is, but it doesn't exactly feel the same, because it's, I guess, maybe because like, half of Max Brass's area is sort of open, and then the other half is a stage. But that's the only like stadium one, where it feels like, a, oh, there's a roaring crowd, tons of people who are interested in arms. Like, it doesn't seem like it's a worldwide phenomenon. Like, obviously, Biff is, talks about it like that, but that's just because, you know, that's his job. So it's interesting, maybe ARMS isn't as popular as you know Biff and the game itself makes you think, and that's why uh, ARMS Lab is going backdrop, because not enough people are interested in ARMS. But you think then, if that was the case, you would try to endorse the people who are actually participating in the competitions, instead of just constantly trying to find their weakness and beat them. Unless there's like just some other subplot going on, I'm just not understanding. Can I get you like this? Just getting a bunch of five damage? She is just flailing everything right now. Can I get a boomerang? Yes, I can! <laughs> no, it's hashtag not sponsored. Maybe. Okay. That was awesome. We were, I, I, I did that while carrying a conversation. There we go. That's a good start. I'm trying to, I, I, I talked the entire first round so I can talk not at all this round. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think all these stages are fantastic. It's just none of them ever give me that like, oh man, we're in a huge stadium, this is all on the line. Something like, I guess a good comparison would be like Dragon Ball's fighting areas. You know, like when Dragon Ball in the show, it has a competition. Oh, hey, look at that, a bonus and a not bonus. I've never seen that little yellow one before. No, that's supposed to be mine, Ribbon Girl, you big stealer. Grab it. No, hold on, ow, I'm gone. <laughs> Goodbye. So, so far she's in the lead. This map is always really tough. Oh. Oh, darn, she really got me there. Come on, throw something. See what happens. Ow, <laughs> that, that happens. Won't happen again, though. So she can move around so much, but I got her. No, she got her shield out. I swear that if I pulled my shield out like that, my arms wouldn't re re have retracted as fast. But I guess maybe arms have different retracting times. Man, oh man. Okay, I got her a little bit there. She is so tough though. Like she really is one of the toughest characters to go against, especially as Springman. I remember having a hard time with her, I feel like with Springman, but I did do like level one difficulty when I played Springman. So really, that's not really a good comparison. Either way, I have 14 seconds to make a change here because things aren't going too well for me. I can literally take one more hit. Okay, hit her please. I can't believe that didn't hit her. I can't believe it's not butter. Oh no, oh, come on. How do you curve your punches? Um, if you're using motion controls, you actually move the motion controls. If you're using a joystick, you just move the joystick and it curves the punch. But usually, um, you can't really move too much when you're punching. I'm just gonna punch you right away. Nope, never mind. Come on. No! My, like I have good enough reactions to know to move, but I don't have good enough instincts to know that I shouldn't be trying to move I should be trying to block. I don't know. I guess this is sort of something I'll eventually, you know, figure out. I was a little too far for a super. Not this time, unless she has that instant shield. Man, how does she pull that up so quickly? Okay, this is not pleasant. I might end up losing this one. It might be a slow climb to the top from here. We will have to see. Got it. Boom, boom. Okay, come on. No need to talk, just listen to Ribbon Girl's music. It is a pretty nice little song, ain't it? 
Yeah, I, I remember just... I didn't do Ribbon Girl on very high difficulty. I think I did it on like a level three, but it was very easy. But she is beating me right now. Her stage is super tough and is very aiding to her. Like, her stage is perfect for her. No, block, block, block! Oh, at least I knocked her out of the super so I didn't get too much of a negative effect from it. It's just she can stay so far away and then just jump around like crazy. Grab her, please, stop, come on! Man. I just can't get her. Maybe I need more practice on level three. She's gonna pull out her shield for that. No, she's not, finally, gosh darn. I got 10 seconds to turn this around. Man, I can't get her. She's too tough. She's too difficult. She's got my number. I just, oh man, I can't get her with Springtron. This might be where it's over. We'll have to keep trying though. I'm not gonna give up that easy. Ribbonista? What does that mean? I've never heard of that line. Oh gosh. Maybe I'll just try, let's try something different. The boomerang helps sometimes, but isn't always the best. Especially since the tri-bolt seems to do a lot of damage in the super, if I could just land it a bit more. All right, I'm punching you, or not. Because uh, we gotta win two rounds again. Like, we, like even like we're not one up on her anymore, or one one. I don't think we were ever one up on her. Okay. Did we win around at all last time? I can't remember anymore. Oh, hey! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to get that, though. You get out of here. I'm building up this super as soon as physically possible. Oh, wow, okay, so the Slap Amanda is better. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Come on, now. Throw something. Wow. It's just I can never, like, if I'm too close, they'll move quicker than I can react. There we go, that's good. Ooh, that's lucky. That's That was 100% luck. Oh wow, I gotta get over there quick. Oh, we both tried to grab each other. No, block. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, maybe I stopped that a little too soon, but that's fine. And you still grab me. I'm in the lead though, so even if I could just have, hold on. Oh. Oh jeez, that was a quick block from her. Like her reactions are insane. Super duper insane. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh, this is a superpower, and we get her! Yes, I could've, you know, I could've used the extra superpower, but I'm actually, no, actually that's not true. I could get it right away this next time. Oh man, I think we're gonna keep with what we have because it's working. And I'm almost at this super, and she's not. So I could have a huge advantage going into this if I could just go ahead and damage her up real quick. Come on, throw a move. Throw a move, see what happens. You want to groove? We'll throw some moves. You know, if she is in the air though, that's when I want to do it. Oh, not that time. She will not attack unless I attack first. Attack one more time, or jump one more time. Go for it. Why am I moving backwards so much when I do that? I have no clue, it's really weird. Anyways, if I punch right there, and then that didn't get her. Oh, but it did make her back up a little bit. For better or for worse, oh! Okay, maybe I'm starting to get this a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. No, no, no. Oh, no, that was close. That was total luck. Definitely I got really lucky that first run with that bomb. Speaking of which zone, there is a bomb right there. No, that's not what I wanted. That was very clearly not what I wanted. Can you go like, yeah, over there? Get some distance on you. Get that. Oh yeah, you better back up. Keep some distance. I feel like I'm better back here because if I let this time out, I will win. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Calm down, Ribbon Girl. I see another one right there. See another one right there. Oh, 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 yes! That was real strats. Grab her, throw her. Get out of here, yeah, okay. Wow, we. Insane stuff right there. But we got her. I also do want to listen back really quick. Just make sure that um, I'm not deep voiced. I might be. I'm not, yay, okay. I'm just so paranoid about that right now. So incredibly paranoid about it. <sighs> I'll, I'll definitely have to do some testing before tomorrow's stream. Either way, Min Min. Min Min. Match five, match nine, don't fail, Arms Lab now. Uh, it's Springtime versus the Ramen Bomber Min Min. Elite Arms Lab's researchers broke out their ab, ab, abacuses 
A long bath. If she spends too long in the tub, her noodles get soggy. I totally get it. Soggy noodles are the worst. What? She better firm up quick. Soggy noodles aren't bad. Especially for ramen. What are you talking about? What's your double toaster for? Maybe I should use the boomerang? I'm not really too worried about it at the moment. All right. Grab it. Got it, got it. Oh no. Oh no. Whoop. I got the first hit in though. Ow. That was not the first hit. Oh yeah, she has these dragon things, which she moves around so quick it's hard to land a shot on her, but these aren't too bad to dodge. They hurt when they do land though, so that's sort of the scary thing. I really don't like this. Oh, the curve shot though! Ah, oh, not enough, not enough. That was, a, that was a decent little shot. Move. But if you can get into the right angle, it's actually pretty easy to grab her. Non-soggy noodles are bad. Yeah, I know, right? You can't even eat them. You gotta cook them. Then they get all soggy and then you eat them. Oh my. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, don't go into this healing. Thank you. So definitely I have like a huge lead right now. If we continue like this, I might have even perfecter. Definitely a huge contrast from Ribbon Girl. But once again, every character has their strengths and weaknesses, and I just don't think that Spring Man's very good against Ribbon Girl. I definitely don't remember having a problem against Spring Man when playing Ribbon Girl, but maybe I'm getting that all mixed up and I couldn't get past Spring Man for the life of me as Ribbon Girl. Ow, that hit me, I was gonna get a perfect! You ruined my good time! You must be destroyed! If I can hit that, that'd be great, thank you. Oh, couldn't quite, oh no, it did get her! <laughs> That's a bit of a surprise, I got you! It's like eating dry food, yeah, it's not really that great. I don't know what Biff is talking about. Maybe things are weird in the arms world. Okay. Not bad, I think we'll keep what we got. Can I 2-0 her? That'd be refreshing. I mean, I did 2-0, uh, Ribbon Girl. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. I got a million punches for you. Oh. There we go, yeah, no, no shooting for you, sorry. I might wanna wait for her to get closer to the bowl. Yeah, just like that. That might hit her. Yeah, she didn't even pay attention to it. She was ignoring. What did anything was gonna happen? Oh, gotta be careful. She does have her super. She's had it for a while though, and she just hasn't used it for one reason or another. Well, maybe she's just waiting for me to make a really silly mistake. All right, well, I either have to take her out or survive for another minute. I think either is very possible at this point. Oh, wow, that was a nice jump by her. Ow. Can I hit her with this one though? That'd be much nicer. Come on. She went entirely the wrong way. I should have been ready for that. Thing going a little too, uh... wow. Thing I'm doing a little too, I guess, out there. I'm not defending enough. Yikes, she's been holding this super forever and a half though. I'm a little nervous, like she has like a master plan going on. I just, I just went right into that. Now I have my super, so see what happens when you do that again. You probably dodge it, because for whatever reason he retract that first punch. For like, I don't know why he did that. Oh, that almost got you. Come on, come on, come on. We got 10 seconds to survive here. All right, well, if you wanna stay away. Oh man, I didn't mean to curve my punch that way. I need to be careful. Yeah, okay, we got it, we got it, we got the win. Tacticality win, still a win. I think it's the difference between moist and soggy, just too much water. I guess, I mean, definitely watery noodles aren't that great. You know, like without enough broth, like it definitely throws off the flavor. I'm not a big ramen fan. I mean, I've only had like instant ramen, so I'm probably not an expert in this situation. Huh. <sighs> Arms World is so weird. Yes, it is. I mean, to be honest with you, most Nintendo based universes are super bizarre. The Arms Grand Prix grand finale is here at last. Listen to that crowd. The fans are fired up. It's Springtime for Springtron versus the Commish Max Brass. After years of research, Arms Labs has finally uncovered his weakness. Green peppers, he hates them. Come on, Kamish, don't be a picky eater. Anyway, here we go. The grand finale starts now. And just because he doesn't like one food item does not make him a picky eater. <laughs> Sometimes Biff is definitely like, he acts like other people are the weirdos, but he's totally just like a total weirdo sometimes. Okay. Yeah, like this area gives like a big fight feel. It's a cool stage. Cause you know, you have like this cityscape out on the other side. I've never really appreciated it. I've usually just done, I mean, this area must have cost a lot of money to make, you know? I mean, I don't know what the finances, the economical state of Arms World is in. But honestly, if they have this much money to make such a grand, almost like a, a theater, you know, it's an arena, ow. 
18,000 mistakes were made. All in one mistake. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Ouch, that really hurt. Can you stop being good at the game, sir? I need you to refrain from being good. No, that's yours, please. It's not mine. I'm gonna be regifting that gift. Happy holidays to you too, Mr. Brass. Fine, I'll just grab you. <laughs> if I could turn this around, that'd be great. Oh, I forgot I had the boomerang. Might be a bit more helpful than I'm giving it credit for. Hold on. Oh, man. Those arms move quick. It's so hard to respond to. I mean, I'm holding on pretty decently. I mean, I need to do better if I want to win, because there's, oh, that one threw him. His hitbox is alive. Oh my, oh my. Don't do it. Wow, I feel like it went slow-mo there for a moment. That was probably just in my head, though. Come on, can, I, can you just not win this, please? Yes, that's good. I got 10 seconds left to turn this bad boy around. Actually, I have more health than he does right now. Don't even need it, though. Yep, don't even need a lot of turn around. That was great. I would not call the Pokemon world normal. Personally. Ugh, super bizarre worlds are the best. I totally agree. But it's just, you know, a point I was making. It was just that most of them are super weird. Anyways, that was great. Oh my. I don't know why he sort of exploded there. Oh yeah, because he has the grenade arms. I guess you can explode those in his face and that can hurt him a little bit. Oh no, that was silly. That was, I already know. The mistake I made there. Oh, that was good though. No, 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 block. Ah, oh, if I was just a little bit closer to the ground. Let me try to get to this healing. Don't mess this one up. I was doing so good for the first round, or I was, oh, at least I turned it around and started doing good. Get you. No, 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 no. Huh. I need to wait for him to leave the, the ground before I throw a super, but the thing is, is that he doesn't leave the ground very much. How did I miss that? I'm just. Getting better aims with the arms is definitely something I'm still trying to practice. It seems like, you know, the get arms minigame helps a lot with that, but it's so easy when nothing's moving. I mean, the presents and stuff move, but they don't move too much. And they're usually guided pretty well so that you end up hitting them anyways when you're trying to hit the targets. Ooh, please not with the grenade. Oh my. I don't know if we're gonna be able to turn this one around. He has a super, he has everything going for him. But honestly, if he could, oh. I was gonna say, if he could waste a super this round, that'd be great. A charge of boomerang will knock him out of his big boy brass state. Okay. I'll try that then. Sorry for missing any messages. Obviously this boss is super intense, so I'll try to catch up with him as much as I can. Oh my. Oh my. I forgot he had the super. Ah. Oh, come on. There we go. I see what you mean. That definitely is helpful. But then he just throws that normal punch and it's just so too quick for me. He was just barely out of that radius. Go, 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 go. Why did that, I just, oh man, there's something weird about that that I'm just not getting. I just feel like for whatever reason, the first couple punches out of my super are like really slow. There we go. Because his arms were out and I activated it and it just didn't reach him in time. And I feel like a normal punch would have in that situation. Ooh, that was a decent hit with that. Not gonna get him, unfortunately. Whoa. Oh, 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 he's hobbling. You hobbling? That was good. So I punched his punch, and it made it so that, come on, come on. Oh no, just block, just block. All right. I got really lucky there because he missed his first couple shots. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to hit that. Might as well let go of that dream. Come on, come on, come on. All right, I just need him to throw one silly punch like that. That was good, that was good. Yeah, we got him! That was pretty darn close, but we got him. I think we got another battle after this though, then now that we're in level four. That was awesome. All right, now I'll try to catch up with what everybody's saying. All right, Springtron wins. Big characters in arms are so hard for me. Yeah, he's really tough. Like him and Mechanica were the two toughest characters we went against today. I definitely think some characters are easier than others. Like with Ribbon Girl, I can just like run circles around him. But as Spring Tr or yeah, Springtron or Spring Man, it's usually more difficult for me. Can it be someone has finally taken down the Max Brass, ladies and gents, the winner today? Wah! Up in the sky, what is that thing? I wish this cutscene would be a little different sometimes, just to just surprise people. That'd be fun. Come here, somebody help him. Oh man. Well, we got this guy with his eight cabillion arms. Yep, eight cabillion, not six. 
<sighs> they did actually nerf the rush of the gloves recently, so the first few hits barely go anywhere. Ah, okay. So maybe I should not just have double gloves or anything like that this time. I mean, I, don't, I didn't have double gloves last time. What a turn of events, victory was all but assured, but now there's a party crasher to deal with. I have no idea what's going on, what drama, what a spectacle. It's your time, Spring John. Watch this wacko and make the new arms something. Uh, tribal. All right. Oh, can't hit with the tribal. This guy is so difficult. This is definitely gonna take me a couple of attempts. Hey, but guess who gets the first shot in? Me. Gonna get shot number two in? Probably not. Because not only does he have Max Brass's abilities, but he also has Headlocks thing, and he can throw three graphs. That's pleasant. Man, oh man. I mean, once again, it's level four difficulty, so we should be able to do it eventually with enough tries. Man, and it's like grenade arms too. Not a fan. Oh, but I made the grenade explode in his face. Gotcha, that was good, that was good. Oh no, but that got me. Oh, that hurts a lot, 200 damage. That, that, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> that was, oh hey, but I broke it. That's better than nothing. Oh, punch that, punch that. Oh, that's going right for him. As long as he doesn't move, he moved. That was a decent punch towards him, though. No, no, block. Oh, no! I forgot how that worked! I forgot he had the super beam of doom! Man, I totally forgot about that. Where it's way better for his super just to dodge it than it is to block it. I was sort of freaking out when I was trying to dodge. Oh, it's hard to dodge three hits. Oh, it's gonna take me a little while. It's gonna take me a couple attempts. I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn this one around. I'd be very impressed with myself if I did, but I didn't. Man. Why can't I have six arms? <laughs> because then it would be fair. Okay. Let's try that again. The old Dash of Springtron release an EMP that makes any arms in the that are in the air. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. Holding Dash, huh? Well, holding Dash while I'm in the air? A whole dash of Springtron. Whoa, okay. Interesting, I mean, you usually don't go that long without getting hit, so I'll have to see if that actually ends up working out for me. Probably shouldn't have used my super like that, but. So that's sort of Springtron's thing, huh? I mean, I'll have to try that a couple times, but hey, at least I got the dodge out. He's still in a super, though. Okay, good to know that, even if after he shoots that thing. But I do need to know that when he sh That's probably where my uh, habit of blocking after uh, What, how did that go towards me? I guess he must have hit a little bit. Oh, I've just totally forgot how to play against this guy. I'm definitely gonna need an extra couple rounds, I think. Unless I can get a surprise return here. Okay, I do see how that works now. Good to experiment now rather than never. Move it, oh man, hit that. Maybe a little more towards him? It didn't hit him. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get those to land because I know how helpful it would be for me. Go for him, go for him, go for him. That's decent at the least. The tri-bolt seems to do a lot of damage in its super. Oh, come on. Oh, well. It permanently charges you for 10 seconds. That's interesting to know. It'll be hard for me to time find spots where I can actually do it properly. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, buddy. I'm gonna get you next round. I want another badge. That's cool, let's rematch. I think I can get him. I mean, I've beaten level four headlock in the past. This is my first, my first uh, time in the ring with this dude. But it has been a while. Well, that didn't really go the way I wanted it to. Right, I need to get him out of here if I can. Oh, yeah, when well, he's laughing. I want to build up the super. Okay, I almost just knocked him closer into it. So I could maybe get a good super here. Oh, I'm a little too far. But I still got it. Okay. Once you start hitting him, that seems to be when it's good. Oh, I almost got you there. Whoa. It is so scary when he just throws out three grabs. Oh my. I'm going to try to hit that towards him. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I mean, I probably should be using the tri bolt a bit more when it comes to using those because it has a wider range, higher chance of hitting it, I guess. Come on, sir. You really want to tussle? I'll tussle. Ooh, so far so good. I actually might be able to at least win one round. 
Who's my favorite ARMS character? Hard to say. I mean, I want to play all the new characters. I need to play one more new character after this. Oh, whoa. I sort of moved it a little bit there. Is it possible to deflect that? If so, I never knew. Okay, okay, okay. No. No. I want to use the super next round, so please just be nice and let me be you. Let me be you. I mean, if things get real nasty here, which are about to get real nasty. Oh wow, there's indefinite time for this fight? Yes! Okay, I got him. I can hold that super for the next time. Man, oh man. It'd be nice if you could play as Headlock. I think you can in online battles. There's like a little online battle game mode uh, where one player plays as Headlock and there's three other players that have to defeat him. And that's pretty cool, I've never tried that. Oh my. Okay, it's so not a good start. Got a bit of a stare off going on. Why'd I do both? Oh, okay, I sort of freaked out and pressed wrong buttons. <laughs> I shouldn't have, I guess you can try to grab when you're doing that. I was just sort of trying to spam things. And I totally messed it up, because I, I could have gotten him there. And now he has his super, so I'll have to be careful. Oh, hey, punch that, punch it! Yes, grab him! That's gonna be a good start, because, well, not really a start, but a good bounce back, because he has a lot of health right now. I'm waiting him for try to, yep, there it is. There it is, I just need to dodge that. Oh, wow, okay, I forgot that it has such a huge blast radius. Oh, my, oh. He ate that, that was interesting. He, like, totally ate that punch. He is getting me good here. No, I need that health. Stop your laughing. That was just so lucky. But you know what, I don't care what it was, as long as I land the punches, no! That might get me. Ooh, very close to getting me. Come on, come on. Yes, that's good. Even if it's just one punch, like one punch is a big victory for me right now. Oh man, I feel like I just totally locked up there. Thank you so much for another 100 bits, Link. I'm sure the luck will transfer over to the next round. I don't know if I want to try something different. I don't know. If this is if, if it worked for one round, it can work for another one, right? Oh, I really hope I can beat him this time. It's the final round, no matter what. No matter how, who becomes a victor. Okay, try that again. Thank you. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Now he has his super, so I need to be on alert. But that's a great start. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, were you trying to get up? No. Jeez, it is just so weird trying to dodge. Oh man, that is perfect. I love it. I love it, that's everything, and I could perfect him. Probably not gonna happen. But it's a potential right now. I got so incredibly lucky there. Ow, ow, that hurt. All right, so I'm probably not gonna get that perfect. But you know what, one can dream, can't he? A zebra can have dreams. Okay, I hit him, he hit me. That hurt a lot more for me. Okay. Back it up, back it up. This is so awkward. Come on, what was that? I need to stay farther back because getting all close to him is not gonna help me. If I could just get into a better position, I keep on getting stuck against this gosh darn wall. Like that's really what's happening to me right now. There we go. I want this up ground advantage. It's just so tough to get at times. And I gotta quickly get it back up here. And if you could just throw one more set of punches, that'd be fantastic. Just like that, just like that, yes! Woohoo! Okay, that was a weird woohoo. <laughs> oh gosh, man, that was crazy. The zebra luck did work. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy about that. We did it. Oh man, that was our first time taking on headlock in a long, long time. I don't know if there's anything after this. Oh yes, that creep is down for the count. Now hold on. I've just received some intel. During the routine experiment at Arms, Arms Laboratories. Wow, the light is everywhere. Is Max gonna be okay? And we've been talking about Arms Laboratory all day now, and then finally, maybe this is why they're bankrupt. They don't have any good security to keep all of their million dollar projects where they're supposed to be. I wonder, they got look good in a mask? You, you already have a mask. Never mind that, how's Max doing? How is I even wearing? Look at that brass beast. All right, cool. Yes. <laughs> yes! Also, why are they trying to find Max Brass's weakness if he's their commissioner? If he's the commissioner, is he finding his own weakness? Because then they already knew. Unless he's the commissioner of something else. Look at that, people, the award ceremony is about to begin. Let's take a look at those final results. Okay. So we only got one perfect there, but it's better than none. Now that's a score we're celebrating. Could a new arms legend be in our midst? And we get the the fancy music, that's awesome. 
Okay. I am so glad we got that done. The winner of the Arms Grand Prix and your new Arms Grand Champion, the Mean Machine Springtron. Congratulations, Arm Labs can now carry out the final phase of their master plan, which is what? Does he know? You can't leave me on a cliffhanger like that, Biff. Maybe we do need an arms too. Ho, ho. Okay, that's awesome. Whoa, okay. Is it going Super Saiyan? What was that? All right, well, we won, that's good. And we don't get the fancy picture at the end because we gotta do that on level 10 difficulty to get the fancy picture. Did they have those? I know for the original 10 characters, if you beat the game with level 10 difficulty, you get the picture at the end, but I don't think you get that. Or maybe you do get it with this. Maybe you have to just be headlock. I don't know, there's no way to skip the credits anyway, so we might as well sit through them. That was a fun character. He might be one of my favorite yet. I mean, he's just Springman with a little extra, and I didn't really use his special ability right till the end, so. Uh, but I don't really see me actually using it too effectively, to be honest. It's just, you have to stay still for too long, I guess. But just as, you know, a Springman reskin, I like it. Kinda seems like Arm Lab are the true villain of the story. They might be, I mean, context is everything. What is the basic character? Well, there is no, I mean, I guess Springman is the closest thing to a basic character in this game. And honestly, it seems like Springtron does what Springman does, but more so like, why would you use Springman? Unless I'm missing something, maybe there's something that Springtron doesn't do. Yeah, if you guys wanna ask any questions, feel free to. But uh, yeah, very cool character. I love the design, just his overall look. He might be one of my favorites, but uh, yeah, we should have some time. I don't know if we'll, should we tackle uh, Dr. Coil now or not? I'm not sure. Of course, we gotta go back to the main menu and get some arms done, and get some extra arms and stuff, that'd be fun. Yeah, your icon will change depending on how many bits you donate. Oh, oh, oh. thank you so much for being here, though. I'm surprised how many people are interested in me streaming arms. I didn't think it would be, you know, as popular as it is, and I really appreciate it. Okay. So yeah, no fancy image. I think you gotta get a higher difficulty to do that, but that's fine. Oh no, here it is. Thanks for playing. Oh, that is so adorable. The little kid's like, oh, I got to touch him. All right, very cool. Who's holding it? Oh, probably the mom, but you never know. Well, who's in the background? We got a bunch of fans. I see Biff. Whoa, that's really weird. I thought Biff was like way smart. Biff is like, no way, no one can touch him. He's, he's, I guess he is a fighting machine. That is so cool. I like people holding their cell phones in the background too. That's a cool picture. I like that one. Okay, so let's also check out the badges we got. We got a couple badges. I know some probably for losing. We got, you've collected 50 arms. Each and every one has been officially certified by the Arms League. The, 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 wait, the floor at the mausoleum broke. Good thing the trampoline is there. Oh, cool. You've got, you've fought in 50 rounds. Seems like you've got this arms thing under control. All of the pillars in the scrapyard were destroyed. At least a guy who fixes them have job security. While fighting in Riven Ring, a hundred light boxes broke on the stage in one round. That's crazy. They just won't stop coming. Uh, my computer's making some kind of noise. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, you've thrown over 2,500 punches. Way to strong arm it. All right, so I don't know if we, what was this one? Whenever, whenever you first run a Grand Prix now, you can hold your head high. You've won the Grand Prix at level four or higher, a new champion is, okay. Yeah, I think we got those a while ago, actually. Okay. So let's also check, we got 270 points for that. It's way easier to earn up points now, which is great. But we're gonna get some arms as Springtron. Hopefully I can get a little bit better at this while we try it. Medium timer, we'll do a medium. We've already done a long timer. We've only done like one or two, so maybe we'll do a long timer after this, or maybe we'll do a long timer for Dr. Coil. Maybe we'll just do a medium and a small one for this right here. All right, punch that. Okay, not bad. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was really good. I'm starting to get the hang of this a bit more. I say that, I'm gonna miss every single punch now. What I say. Can I get, oh, that was a, uh, yeah, a Kid Cobra. Nice, that was a good punch. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh, that, that was that was messy, that was sloppy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, get that timer, get that bullseye. Oh, that was the perfect punch. Got it, okay, we're doing good. Oh my, oh my, got it, got it. 
Sorry, I'm not talking much for this, but it requires a lot of focus. We've gotten a lot of arms so far. I think this might be my best round of uh, Get Arms Yet. Whatever they actually call this. I think it's called Get Arms. All right, try to get that just barely. Oh, that target's gonna be tough, but I did get it. I got five seconds left. Come on. Oh, extra time! Wow, that was a good punch. Total luck, to be honest with you. Got that present. Got that present. Oh, that's it. Okay, we did really good there. Awesome. What is the highest level you have finished so far? I think about seven, I can't remember, but we got the Lockjaw, I haven't seen this. Cobbled together with using spare parts from another Arms Labs creation, this baby breathed fire. It develop the, It's developers, I can't read today. It's developers think that it's adorable. It's really not. We also got the Cracker. Their generous spread attack feels like a party. Shooting out stars in a spiral configuration, they just scream congrats, now burn. Oh yeah, we, we got this yesterday, the parable one. Oh hey, we got some Ribbon Girl stuff. The Scully, we've gotten that for, uh, you know, that's Misango's weapon. A stripped down arm that sacrificed aesthetics for power and speed. It's basically only skin and bones now. Well, just bones, poisonous bones. And we got the shield, we've seen the shield before. And we got the Seeky, or whatever this is. Yeah, this is the Seeky. Yeah. yeah. We got arms for all types of characters in need. High risk, high reward, explosive gloves that detonate on impact. They lock the a guidance system so they'll really test your skills. Yeah, I'm not interested in using those. And then we also got the parasol. When it's raining fists, grab one of these. They, the undeniable elegance of these umbrellas will leave you, your opponent's head spinning. Yeah. Okay. And then we got some from Max Brass. Cool, the toaster. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is the shurikens, a chakram. Their quick curving attack leaves no escape. Once an ancient ninja weapon, modern technology has revitalized their appeal. That's for Lola Pop, and there's all of our weapons for today. Awesome, so I think, I mean, we can go for one more. We'll go for a short one. Uh, so we'll go Springtron, then we'll do a nice normal one. I'm having fun with these, so I just wanna keep playing them. My record is 900 points. I think that was our record right there, though. Okay, I'm ready for it. Let's see how high of a score I can get here. Boom. High score, right there. Level up. This is like way tamer now, comparatively. I mean, I say that, but I still might mess things up. So I got an arm for a spring man there, not spring Tron. Got it. Usually the first arm you get is from the character you're playing, so that's interesting. Or maybe that's only for the first time. Wow, that was a good punch. All right, hit that timer. Okay. We're running out of time rather quickly though. I mean, obviously in this game mode, that's sort of a thing that just happens because it's it's really short. Oh, get that present please. Thank you, better than nothing. I got two there. Usually I could do a little bit better than that. Awesome. Hmm. All right, awesome. The roaster, blue flames give these gloves maximum hotness. No guidance system means higher damage output, making them a favorite of high level fighters. Cool. <laughs> We also got this. We already read the description for that just a moment ago. But there we go. We played. Oh no, there was one more. I guess we did get three. The slap of manner sweeping across a wide attack radius in a serpentine motion. These wily weapons will make short work of any wannabe sidesteppers. Okay, so there's some gameplay with Springtron. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Arms. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebratron so I know you've watched the end and that you were a Zebratastic viewer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.